Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Cars 3 Diecast Review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Doug Throttleman Variation. So I guess it's less so a review and more so an announcement comparison video because not many people actually know about this Doug Throttleman Variation. And in my opinion, it's pretty significant. Significant enough to make a solo video on it. Like over the summer, I did a video on the Smokey Variation. And if you'd like to see my review of that, the link will be in the description below along with the card suggestion in the top right hand corner. So in the future, I might do more videos like this on Miss Fritter. That's probably the next one that I would do. Maybe Danny Suarez. And of course, since Mattel continues on making variations, I'm sure there will be more opportunities in the future. So I recently discovered this variation of Dud just a couple weeks ago. I talked about it in my live stream and in episode eight of The Hunt. But since I don't think many people may have seen that part, I wanted to make a solo video on it so everyone is aware. And like I said, it is pretty significant, although kind of hard to notice since it's not apparent from the side of the car. It has to deal with the front bumper. So take a look at Dud here. You can see there's kind of a blue tint to the front bumper. And it's kind of white, but it's still blue tinted, like this one right here. They are a little bit different in color there, but I like to call this the blue tinted bumper. That's what we'll refer to it as. And then we have the completely white bumper there. It's kind of hard to see in the package, but trust me, it is very different, especially when you have some that are extremely blue in the front. Like I feel like there are a spectrum of these bumpers. You have this one that's really, really blue, more so than these right here, and then ones that are completely white in the front there. So we're just going to divide it between blue tinted and completely white because I feel like the blue tints could be more so blue, less so blue. Whereas these, you know, it's obvious that they are definitely white in the front here. It's kind of interesting though, because Dud is supposed to have a completely white, I mean a completely blue, what am I talking about? A completely blue bumper to match the rest of his body, like he did in the movie and the prototype picture of him. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. So I don't know why they made it blue tinted and white. Doesn't make any sense to me, but we're gonna open this one up here. I do have two, so this is the one that I'll be opening. For some reason, they have tape. Like both of the white variations I found have tape. So I don't know why that is. It makes it kinda hard to open them, but oh well, I guess I'll just peel it off. So the one I just opened up is in the middle there and it is a little hard to tell so I decided that I'm going to open up the one that is very very blue to emphasize the difference. This one is not taped, which makes it way easier to open. So now you guys will really get a feel of the difference here. Let's just get rid of these and then you can see the two ends of the spectrum. Very, very blue and white. So definitely a noticeable variation between the two of them. Let me know in the comment section below, which one do you prefer more? Do you like completely white or do you like the blue? I have to go with the blue, this one here, because it's more accurate to the movie. And the white just kind of looks strange. It looks like he had milk and he needs to wipe his face because it got all over himself. But anyway, I'm not really going to review Dud because I already did over the summer. Link to my review of him is in the description below. He's one of my favorite stock cars from Cars 3. To begin, I love Mood Springs and since they updated his racer and made him look much better in my opinion, I'm even more of a fan of the sponsor. But yeah, look at that, wow. I'm kind of proud of myself for discovering this variation. You really do have two ends of the spectrum here. And then you have some other ones that are in the middle here that have some blue tones to it, if you know what I'm saying. This one here is a little bit more blue. It really kind of starts a little bit sooner too, like the blue. This, the blue doesn't start until by like the taillights or the headlights and the grill. This it kind of starts at the top of the mouth there. 
So very interesting to see all these different shades of the bumper, but really you want to look for these two, the two ends of the spectrum in my opinion, because the other ones, maybe they are too similar to one end. You know what I'm saying guys? Hopefully this made sense. I'm trying to kind of explain the color spectrum here. I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not. I did look throughout the rest of him to see if there were any other differences, but it does not seem like it. The bumper is really the only thing that differentiates the two of them. And let's just bring in Chuck Armstrong, the Cars 1 Mood Springs racer, for a little bit of fun here. If you'd like to see my review of the next gen Mood Springs at Trunken, link will be in the description below as well. I'm not showing him in this video, simply because it's not about him, it's about the stock cars. So next gens can go and be a next gen or whatever. We are not going to worry about them today. Just see how different they are. See the evolution of the branding. Looks so good. So good. And now let's bring in the whole team of Mood Springs. We have a hauler here. Of course, from 2010, one of my favorite haulers. A factory custom Mood Springs pickup as the crew chief, presumably. And I do have a pity on the way. Like, I will have a Mood Springs pity in about two, three weeks. We'll see what happens. We'll see when it comes and I'll do a video on it most likely. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this rather short video. Let me know in the comment section below again, do you prefer the blue tinted or the white dud bumper? I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.